Hi everyone, this is Vanessa. Today's video is on the bead stitch. So I will demonstrate how to crochet the bead stitch and this is my Tucker Slouch beanie, uh, my latest design and I'm using this stitch um, for this beanie and I just love the texture of it um, and it's not too bad to work with, okay? So let's get started. You want to start with a slip knot and I do have a video um, on the basic crochet stitches. So you want to chain any even number of stitches. So I have 10 stitches to work with. So for the first row, you want to single crochet into the second stitch. That's the first, that's the second second stitch from the hook you want to work one single crochet and then you want to work one single crochet all the way across your chain stitches okay so I'm working my last stitch so now we're done with row one so for row two, you want to chain three and you want to turn your work. So the chain three counts as a double crochet stitch. So into the next stitch, so right here, you want to work your first double crochet stitch. So one double crochet stitch. Now we're going to work the bead stitch and it's worked around the post of the double crochet stitch. So you want to yarn over, insert your hook around the post, and pull up a loop. And now you have three loops on your hook. You want to yarn over and pull through one loop. So you're going to do that three times. Yarn over, insert around the post, pull up a loop. Okay, now you want to yarn over and pull through one. Okay, so we're going to do that one more time. Yarn over, go around the post, pull up a loop, and then you want to yarn over, okay, and then pull it through just the one loop. So now you have seven loops on your hook. You're going to yarn over, pull through six loops. With two loops left on your hook, you want to yarn over and pull through two. So that completes the bead stitch. Okay, so now the repeat is skip one stitch. So we're going to skip the next, and then we're going to work a double crochet into the next stitch. And now we're going to work another bead stitch around the post of this um, double crochet stitch that we just worked. Okay, so yarn over, insert your hook around the post, and pull up a loop yarn over pull through one two more times yarn over insert around the post pull up a loop yarn over pull through one loop okay one last time yarn over insert your hook around the loop pull up a loop yarn over pull through one loop now you have seven loops on your hook you want to yarn over pull through six loops and then with two loops on your hook, you want to yarn over and pull through both loops. Okay, so we're going to skip the next stitch and work one double crochet into the next. Okay, now the bead stitch will be worked around the post of this double crochet stitch. So go ahead and yarn over, insert your hook around the post, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through one, do that two more times, yarn over, Pull up a loop and you want to yarn over, pull through one. Okay, one more time, yarn over, insert around the post, pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through one, or one. <laughs> so now with seven loops on your hook, you want to yarn over, pull through six loops, and then with two loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through two. Okay, skip the next stitch and then work another double crochet into the next. And then this will be your final bead stitch. So work one bead stitch around the post of your double crochet stitch. 
Okay, so you want to work one double crochet into the last stitch. This is the turning chain from your foundation. Okay, it's a little hard to get into, but don't forget that. So make sure you have the same um, even number of stitches for every row so that you don't lose your stitch count. Okay, so that's row two. Now we want to start row three. You want to chain one and turn your work. Okay, so you want to work one single crochet into the same stitch and then one single crochet in every stitch across. When you get to the end of your single crochet row, you want to make sure that you complete a single crochet into the third chain from the chain three below. So again, just count your stitches, make sure you have the same stitch count on uh, every row. Okay, so row four is pretty much the same as row two. You chain three and turn. So I wanted to show you quickly, uh, my Tucker slouch beanie works in the round and you worked right over the chain three um, double crochet stitch as if you're working in the post. So you would simply just uh, work around the chain three as if you're working around the post and then that's how you would avoid having um, that extra double crochet stitch okay so this is how you would work around a chain three stitch see down down here you have the edging for the flat um, for working in rows but if you're working in the round you don't want that extra double crochet stitch so okay let's move along um this is round uh, row four so we want to work a double crochet in the next stitch okay so right there and then you want to work your bead stitch right into the post of that double crochet stitch so you should be quite an expert by now working these bead stitches <laughs> Okay, so repeat the skip one, one double crochet into the next, and work the bead stitch around the double crochet post. All right, and don't forget your last double crochet stitch of round four. Okay, so just repeat rows three and four until the desired size, and you wanna end with a single crochet row. Okay, and again, don't forget to work into the third chain of the chain three from below. All right, so here is my sample of the bead stitch. So we have our single crochet rows and our bead stitch rows back and forth. And then we have our double crochet edging on each side of the work. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos.